Good day to you, and welcome to Cujo Sound. My name is Bjorn Jacobson, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about microphones. A, because some of my patrons on patreon.com forward slash Cujo Sound has been asking me to explain a couple of things, such as how do microphones work? So I will do that. B, microphones, or in a broader sense, any kind of transducer, is really interesting, and it's really, really important that you as a sound designer know how to use them and make the best of any kind of microphone. C, because I've noticed that a lot of both sound designers and streamers and generally people on the internet does not know the difference between the different types of microphones, how they work, why they are good for certain things, and bad for others. D, I'm sure you've all seen streamers who practically eat their microphones by close micing them. It's not even an inch from their face because they think that's how they get the best sound. And that also shows that they don't know how to treat their rooms, how to set up microphones in general, and what happens to the sound if you close mic it like this in an untreated room. Actually, there are hundreds of ways of setting up a microphone, or microphones, plural. It all comes down to what you're trying to record, what results you want. Even the worst microphone can sound good if that's what you want, if it does what you want it to do. Even the best microphone can sound like utter crap if you don't know how to use it or you're using it wrong. All this is something that we are going to talk about, and hopefully you will learn something from it, because I learn something every time I create a new video like this, and I dig into material regardless of how familiar I am with the topic already. Now let's get started. In this video, let's talk about how microphones actually work. And by microphone, I mean microphone in the traditional sense. Any other kinds of transducers will have to be in a separate video. Microphones, such as this Sennheiser MKH416, is great for recording things when they're coming from a certain direction. Whereas other microphones will record everything around you. Why is it that some microphones record everything in their vicinity and others only record from a specific direction? Especially, why is it that, for example, this Sennheiser MKH416 records from a specific direction when it has all these openings here on the side and in the front? I've met a lot of people for to whom that didn't make any sense at all. Because a lot of openings would mean that more sound would get in, right? Actually, it does but it requires a little bit of a longer explanation to get to that. Let's start with the basics here. Microphones work by sending an electrical current into your audio recording device, or sends the difference between an already provided electrical current by your audio recording device back to it. You may have heard of this thing called phantom power, that is sending 48 volts to your microphone to power it up. Then why do some microphones require phantom power while others don't? Most commonly they do so because they are known as dynamic microphones and they create their own current inside the microphone by reacting to the vibrations of the sound that you feed it. What I'm basically saying is that a microphone converts the power of your voice or whatever other sound you send to it into electrical power. A very weak electrical power, but power nonetheless. And this, Sennheiser 416, is a so-called condenser microphone, which requires electrical current to function to begin with. You see, a dynamic microphone has a small membrane at the very top of it that vibrates to the sound you feed it. That vibration causes a small magnetic metal core to also vibrate and move slightly. The core is surrounded by a metal coil and with some basic knowledge on how physics and electromagnetism works, then a magnetic core that moves within a coil causes a slight fluctuation, creating a very small, but big enough, current. That current will then be the same as the vibration that we fed the microphone, also known as the sound that we fed the microphone. That current can then be picked up by our audio device and recorded in many different ways. But most common way in these digital days is by having a converter, also known as an ADC, an analog to digital converter. It changes the signal into ones and zeros, which can then be stored on your computer. Playing back this file will cause another converter called the DAC, digital to analog converter, to create an electrical current, similar to the one that we recorded and feed it to whatever you want. That could be a pair of speakers. But actually, the funny thing about a dynamic microphone is that it works both ways. Just as the sound can cause a magnetic metal core in the microphone to vibrate and generate the current, we can also feed current into the coil, causing the magnetic core to vibrate, 
causing the membrane to vibrate, causing it to feed into the air, creating sound that we can hear. That means that a dynamic microphone is the same as a speaker, and an unpowered inactive speaker is also a microphone. This may seem a bit weird at first, but it's not uncommon in recording studios to record very high transient low frequency sounds such as a kick drum or bass guitar picks with an actual speaker instead of a microphone. Well, technically it is a microphone, but we consider it a speaker, most of us. You ever heard of the Beatles and the Appy Road Studios speaker to microphone converter story? Try looking that up and you'll see what I mean. This is one of the fundamentals of microphones that you should learn. If it can change vibration into current, you can use it as a microphone. If you can feed it current, it can cause vibration and you can use it as a speaker. Simple as that. Thank you for watching Cujo Sound. If you like this video and want to know more about game audio, hit the like and subscribe button, or maybe check out patreon.com forward slash Cujo Sound, where you for as little as $1 a month can help me sustain this channel and the time I take off to create this material. Signing up also gives you access to a lot of other things. Thank you for watching.